totalmente aberta, né? Eu, é, Lúcio, é verdade, tá? Eu e o Lúcio lutamos, pô, três vezes. É, pô, era uma rivalidade. Hoje tá aí, tá no meu corner. É, pô, tá lá em casa, outra vez, né? A segunda vez que ele vem pro camp. É, vai lá em casa, de boa, primeiro vem com meus filhos. E, pô, virei amigo mesmo. Cara, cara. É amigo, é, né? Porra, é legal. Amigo. E assim, nada de falsidade, se tudo bem, né? Mas Isso é sim, difícil, né? é, mas é a parada né? do ego, né? O cara esquece tudo, né? É a minha parte da parte dele também, né? Mas a Desânia, sinceramente, não esquece a parada. Né? Hum. Pô, eu pô, acabei um sonho, né? Tipo. É, lógico, ele se tornou campeão, fez várias defesas, mas ele vinha falando que queria fazer história, assim, pô, passar o século de doando, isso e tal. Tem um cara aí uhum. que quebra tudo isso. O cara fica. É, ele diz que não. É como. Quando você tem uma pessoa como o Yusri, você sabe? O Yusri é agora um amigo muito bom dele. E eles estavam lutando. Two, three times, you know, and it, w it was a hard knockout for Yusri as well. It was a very bad knockout for him. But now they are friends. Now he's like at our home. He's like playing with his kids, you know. He's a really close friend now. So it's about forgetting all this like ego shit, you know, like I'm the best, I'm whatever. So just letting it go and forgetting this shit. He forgot it, Yusri forgot it, and now they are close friends. But he's saying like, He thinks Adesanya can't forget it because he wanted to do ma to make history even more than Anderson Silva, like a winning streak, like a long period, you know. So he just broke this dream. So he thinks he will never forget it. So it will be difficult that they will be friends one day because, yeah, it's all about the ego, you know. Mm -hmm. Ele não toma mais personal, né? Porque igual com Yusri. Eu só estava ainda no começo de sua carreira, sabe? Uhum. Mas Adesanya estava ao al topo de sua carreira, sabe? Eu só estava ainda no beginning of his career, you know? But Adesanya was at the peak of his career, you know? So it's it, this is a big difference as well. Yes, because if he's going to uh, light heavyweight, if if he, if he's losing now, Adesanya is losing now, and he's saying, okay, I have to go to a light heavyweight. We all know, we all know, Alex will go to light heavyweight yeah. sooner or later. We all know it. So. Tá aqui. Se você. O cara tá. O cara é campeão. E você tá se dando bem? Qual que é a parada? É você fazer isso aqui. Yeah. E é, isso é yeah. natural. Yeah. Entendeu? The people are saying he's following him, but he's not following. I mean, he's a champion. He wants to be the champion, so he has to beat the champion. If the champion is another guy, he will follow this guy, you know. You have to, to follow the champion. Because you want to be the champion, you have to beat this guy. You know, it's not about him. It's it can be any other guy. E não é não é ele. Por isso é qualquer pessoa. Você quer ser campeão? Você tem que ser campeão. Então, he's following Jamal Hill as well.
I mean, it's going to be fucking hard, man. You're going to have Izzy's going to fucking run around and dance. and I mean, you, it all just comes down to if Alex should track him down like he did last fight. It's, it's a hard fight, man. You, you know, it's a hard fight for fucking Alex. Just, it's not a hard fight because Izzy's going to fight. It's a hard fight because Izzy's going to run. And when you fight a guy who has that ability, Izzy can fight, it's a hard guy to track down. I mean, I like Alex, but, like, if I were to fight Alex again... I might wrestle, but like I wouldn't go in there thinking like, oh fuck, he knocked me out. I mean, but he get knocked out like three times. Yeah. May maybe I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I think I don't fucking know. I, I I can only say for myself. If me, it'd make me piss off. But if he knocked me out three fucking times, maybe things change. <laughs> maybe See, things change. I feel so bad. It was safer for her. I like. I I'm not an Izzy fan. As a fighter, I enjoy Pereira far more. But I'm like, I kind of like want Izzy to win at this point. Like, he has got to have something. At this point, this dude's chasing you from two sports and taking your life to like. I'm like, but he's gonna, like, if he doesn't win, he's going to throw himself off a cliff. Like, I, like, I, I'm just, I feel bad for the guy at this point. Like, but then I read the other day, he uh, did the interview a while ago. Like, prayers, like, this is what inspired me. I'm like, dude, like, he talked shit. He saw what was like, bet. And he follows you. How many of us actually, we all create our own problems, but like we can actually timeline Izzy back to creating his own biggest problem. That's messed up. He talked crap in one interview and he's like, all right, I'm coming. And now like, he gets your own boogie, man. But uh, I think in fighting, man, no matter how good you are, sometimes there are guys who just have your number. There's always one guy out there who's got a bullet for you. And you just hold on to it. I think Pereira is a guy that has Izzy's bullet and he knows it. So we'll see Saturday, but there's always somebody out there carrying your bullet with your name on it, especially competition. It's unfortunate that he's just found out. He's found the guy who's got a clip up. I mean, yeah, I mean, it has to be. I mean, three times is a lot. I mean, three times might fucking retire me. <laughs> I might go to a different weight class, but then he would fucking go up to the next weight class too. <laughs> it just comes down to if Izzy could not get hit for 25 minutes. If Izzy could run and hide, the only, if Izzy could run and hide, he has a chance. Like last fight, he ran and hide, but he got caught down. So it just didn't come down to fucking how much on that treadmill is he going to get on. It's a hard fight, man. Izzy, Izzy could fucking fight. He could fight, he could run, good movement. It's a hard fight. I, I think it, it could go either way, in my opinion, if Izzy could run away. I'll go to 205. What's going on? Tell him to go up to 205. Oh, man. This is some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Oh, someone's got it. Oh, you at, two, at 85, so I asked Mick if I could just get an 80, a 205 fight. So. Ele falou que não estão deixando ele lutar com ninguém ranqueado no ciclo. Ele falou falou comigo para deixar ele lutar no fazer um troco. I still salty as fuck when I see this man. Fucking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm gonna put you to shame. Let me put my shirt on. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you're part of the gym, bro. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Cheat. That's beautiful. The best thing is, the best thing is, is he's not fucking champion.